we have a term that's used frequently in news uh, It's called embargo. And that means when you have an organization that has something they're interested in releasing to the public, but they don't want it to come out in dribs and drabs. There's a specific reason why they're holding the information for what they think is the right time to release it. One of the cases of that this week involved a study by Rand about Proposition 19. It's the ballot measure that seeks to legalize marijuana in California. Rand did a study trying to determine if Prop 19 were to be passed, what the effect would be on Mexican drug cartels. That meant getting at the issue of how much of the inventory of drugs that they move is marijuana versus other drugs. And the other is what share of the Mexican uh, marijuana coming into the country is that of the overall marijuana consumption in California and the United States. But so to release it in a way that they thought would be the most effective and wouldn't uh, favor one news outlet over another is they decided in a conference call at 11 o'clock on a morning this week that they would have all news organizations call in and get the results of the study. It would be emailed concurrently to all of them and then they could ask questions of the author of the study at the time. We, knowing that the embargo was going to be lifted with all the principles involved at the same time we're on the air, that wouldn't work for us and we didn't want to have to wait to bring it to our listeners. So I taped that morning before Air Talk went on the air a conversation with the co-author of the study and that's with the agreement that we won't air it before 11 o'clock when the embargo is broken and that conference call takes place. So sure enough, that's what we did. I did an interview with the co-author of the study. We aired it right after the newscast at 11.06, within uh, the period that uh, the embargo was broken, and we were able to bring it first along with everyone else to our listeners.